hello friends so in this video we are going to learn about immediately invoke function expression in javascript so basically uh, immediately invoke function expression which is also known as a ify it is a design pattern which also known as a self executing anonymous function so there are some benefits of using immediately invoke function expression that we are going to cover during this video so let's get started some benefits of using uh, immediately invoke function expression so this will help to avoid the pollu avoid polluting the global namespace so basically if when we use this function we can avoid uh, overriding the global variables declared in our files also it will uh, avoid the conflicting the variable namespace between the library and the program so the best example for for this particular scenario is if you are using the jquery or some other third party libraries then you can avoid overriding that third party libraries variables with uh, within your particular program using if you are using the immediately invoke function expression and another example for the immediately invoke function expression is to create some public and the private variables so let's get started let's try some example and explain uh, understand that particular how we can write and how we can use the immediately invoke function expressions in the different scenarios so here we have one example uh, which is of the immediately invoke function expressions so in this example uh, if you can see here these the balance and that particular this function do bad things both are the private variable and the private functions which you can't use outside of this particular uh, function scope similarly you have some public variables and the uh, here we have the public function which is withdraw which this particular public function you can use outside of this particular function scope but you can't use uh, the remaining the, the private function and the private variable so let's try this example we are providing balance here now I am trying to call the withdraw function this dot let me copy this function name and I am withdrawing some amount let's say 500 from it and try to run the code so if you can see the remaining amount is 400 which is returning the balance let me change the amount and we'll try again clear the console so if you can see here it will show the 600 so here this console is coming because we are initiate we are calling this function and as I told you earlier that immediately invoke function will is uh, it will be invoked immediately after the function is defined so that is the reason this particular function returns this console now let's try to access this function outside of this function scope So pull dot log test dot let me clear the console and if you can see here we have the error test dot do bad thing is not a function so that this is the uh, like uh, why this is happening because the do bad thing is here acting as a private function so you can't uh, access it 
outside of that particular function similarly for the balance let's try for the balance let me clear the console okay here i think it returns undefined because balance is undefined so yeah so this is the scenario like we have we, we test like how we can use immediately invoke expression functions to create a private and the public variables and the methods similarly uh, if you can see like we can we can avoid overriding this particular variables because the balance is here the balance variable within the scope if you let's say const balance equal to 100 so here we can see that we have the balance so this balance variable is not con overriding or conflicting with uh, our global scope variable balance so that is the thing like this is the benefit of using immediately invoke function i hope uh, this concept is clear after this after watching this video if you like the video hit the like button and uh, we will see you guys on the next video with some other topics of related to the javascript till then happy programming